Hi, this is Jenny Sullivan, the director of the Study Abroad Office at RIT. I'm really excited to spend a few minutes with you today to tell you about our Frederick C. Cuny Peace and Conflict Summer Program. This is a flagship program at our global campus in Kosovo. It takes place June 26th through July 31st. This program is named after the noted American humanitarian Frederick Cooney, who is considered a really influential thinker and innovator and practitioner in a humanitarian response, and his legacy is really reflected throughout this program. So where exactly is Kosovo? Kosovo is located in southeastern Europe and is a part of the Balkan Peninsula. It's uh, a region that's really defined by the complex diversity of ethnicities and languages and religions. And um, part of this is what contributed to the conflict that took place in the late 90s. Kosovo declared its independence in February of 2008. And as of 2022, 119 governments recognize Kosovo as the newest country in Europe. Kosovo is made up of many, many young people. 70% of the population is under the age of 35 and its currency is the euro. RIT has had a campus in Kosovo for many years, offering a few RIT degree programs to local students, um, but you can take advantage of it as a study abroad student. You could go for a semester or for this summer program. Your courses are all offered in English and there's common coursework offered in the disciplines of public policy political science, international relations, and economics. Our campus is located in the capital, Pristina, and the summer program has been around for 10 plus years and is really well known across the US. Many students from uh, universities in the United States participate. You can see here a little bit about what campus life is like. Faculty members are really accessible and approachable, often I'm meeting informally with the students. And campus is located in a lovely area of uh, Jermia Park with walking trails and picnic areas, um, a, be a really beautiful setting. The Fred Cuny summer program has such a fantastic reputation all over the United States. Universities from all over the country send their students on our unique program because of its immersiveness. So the courses that are taught by practitioners, policy makers, former government officials, humanitarians, uh, leaders of NGOs who were there during the conflict and have directly participated in the rebuilding process. So they are sharing their first-hand accounts, which is so unique. Um, all disciplines are welcome to participate. Um, you're gonna earn six credits through two classes. You're gonna have opportunities to tour historic, cultural, and politically significant sites um, on your own time and as a part of the program, all inclusive. And you will pay a significantly discounted tuition for those six credits, way less than what you would pay for them here on the main campus. As I mentioned, one of the things that makes this program so unique is the first-hand accounts and the voices you will have access to. You're going to participate in informal seminars to explore the current challenges and the impacts that have come and been born out of the conflicts. You're going to talk about opportunities in the region. You're going to participate in, in workshops and simulations of peacekeeping operations. The whole summer program kicks off with a one-week study tour included as a part of the program. You're going to visit Albania, Montenegro, Croatia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. So you're going to get an in-depth understanding of the history and the region, what led to some of the conflict, um, and how those complexities play out. You're going to really dissect that more in your courses when you get back to Pristina. The program offers four unique courses.
courses, uh, ones that you can't get easily at the RIT main campus, and you're going to choose two of these four courses to earn a total of six credits. Through activities like political reporting and policy analysis, um, simulations, um, understanding the ethical dimensions of the decision making that happened during the peace process, understanding the outcomes of negotiations and international humanitarian law, you're going to come away with some key insights and skills. As far as living in Kosovo, here are some things you can expect. Um, you will live in student housing in shared uh, dorm rooms with other study abroad students from RIT or other universities or maybe even local students. Your program fee includes three meals a day, Monday through Friday, at a restaurant on campus. You can expect to be in class two to three hours a day and then you'll have free time and weekends to explore and get involved in cultural activities and events and festivals. Prashina is has really vibrant culture, um, incredible cuisine, concerts, museums, clubs, and a great cafe culture, sipping, drinking coffee, and getting to know people. It's also a really affordable city. It's very common for people to have a coffee break, sit outside, get to know each other, and you'll find that United States citizens are really welcomed and respected because of the role that Bill Clinton played in bringing peace to the region. He's really looked upon as um, a prominent figure there in the region. Here are some more images to just give you a sense of what life is like. You can see the architectural styles are varied and different and reflect kind of what was happening at that time. Um, Pristina is a very walkable city. It has some public transportation, so it should be not too hard for you to get around. So I've mentioned this discounted tuition, and what I want to point out to you is that for these six credits, you are paying the local tuition rate, what local students from Kosovo pay to attend RIT Kosovo. So you're going to pay just $2,568 for those six credits of tuition. Then you will pay a program fee, which consists of your housing, those three meals a day, five days a week, that pre-study tour, week-long tour that takes you to Albania and Montenegro, orientation, and that total only costs $2,200. Those are the amounts that will be billed to your RIT e-services account. Then you should also be prepared to pay some out-of-pocket expenses, and these are estimated around $1,700, and this will include your airfare, any meals that aren't included in the program, and personal expenses. Financial aid may be available, so the important thing to do is take a copy of the official budget worksheet, which you can find in our application database, The Compass, to a meeting with your financial aid advisor, and they'll be able to tell you how your aid can and will apply. This year, there are significant scholarship funds to support our students' participation. Political science students alone will have two opportunities to get full ride scholarships that will pay the tuition and the program fee. Other students of different majors may also receive full rides or significant scholarship. Up to $15,000 total has been committed to help students participate in this program this summer. Uh, scholarships will be awarded based on your major, your GPA, your financial need status as a part of the application. You are asked to write a short or brief essay to explain how this program helps you to reach your long-term academic and professional goals. All students um, who apply for this program will automatically be considered for the available scholarships that, that they meet the eligibility requirements for. There's no separate application needed. We're making it nice and easy for you. You will be notified if you won a scholarship very shortly after the application deadline. So how do you take advantage of this opportunity? 
The next step is to start an application in our application database called the Compass. To do this, you go to our website, studyabroad.rit.edu, you click on the Compass, and you log in with your RIT username and password. Go to the Search Programs tab and search Kosovo Summer, and the application will pop up with all the details, including the budget worksheet. Then we recommend that you make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with our advisor, Maureen Shannon. She can walk you through that application process and answer any questions you might have. The application deadline is April 1st. Thank you so much for considering this program. We hope to see you in Kosovo this summer.